friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, so that means it's grocery haul day. I shopped at two stores and I have some new food finds fall inspired. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I cannot recommend personalized calories and macros enough. That is how I've lost well over a hundred pounds and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things and don't forget, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. So this week's grocery haul, I went to Sprouts and I went to Kroger, which is fries by my house. So let me show you what I picked up from both stores. Starting with Sprouts, I grabbed the big, huge pack of the all-white shredded chicken. I need this for a dinner recipe, and then this is a go-to for us. We love to have this on hand for quick, easy meals. It's affordable, it's shredded, it's zero points on WW because it is all-white meat chicken. And then I saw this little cutie here over in their pumpkin sp spice area, which of course I had to go to. This is from the brand Nunos, Nounos. I've never heard of it. It's a yogurt, and it is pumpkin spice so I'm sure it's going to have a decent amount of points because it looks like it has a decent amount of sugar but I'm excited for this I thought that it would make a really good dessert and you know I have to try everything I can that's pumpkin spice I picked up the Siggy's non-fat plain Greek yogurt for my yogurt bowls this is probably my favorite this and the one from Costco which by the way I've went through that entire huge container from Costco so when I get back from my trip from Hawaii I'm going to be making my Sam's Club run and my Trader Joe's fall haul so I'm going to buy probably two big Greek yogurts at Sam's Club but this will get me buy for this week until I head out for my trip. Some of these sprouts, pasture-raised eggs, these are some of the best eggs. They have a nice orange yolk, which is exactly what you want in an egg, and right now they're on sale for $3.99 a dozen. Another pumpkin spice find is from Super Creamer. So you guys know I like the Super Coffee. I have not tried the pumpkin one that I picked up in last week's haul. I'll probably have that today, but I saw that they had the creamer, and it has only five calories in a tablespoon, and it even has a gram of protein, and really zero everything else, zero sugar, zero fat. So I want to try it just for, you know, something different that's pumpkin spice. And I also spotted this. I am so busy leading up to my trip that I thought this would just be really convenient for a lunch or a dinner. This is from the brand Cedar Lane and this is their protein bowl. There is 22 grams of protein in here. It has chicken, brown rice, quinoa, zucchini, red onion, shawarma sauce and tahini yogurt sauce. I love tahini and the whole bowl is 310 calories and actually has pretty good ingredients and you can't beat 22 grams of protein. And then I did pick up a double pack of raspberries and a big thing of blueberries just for some fruit for the week and then some green onions for a dinner recipe. That is everything from Sprout, so let's jump in to Kroger or fries. I grabbed a bag of the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. This is actually for my meal prep on Monday, my breakfast meal prep. Just an FYI, and I'll share this in future videos as well, so in case you happen to forget or miss this one, I will not have a meal prep next Monday. So this coming up Monday is in two days, there'll be a meal prep. The following Monday, I'll be in Hawaii, so there will not be a meal prep. So definitely don't miss out on this Monday's. We have some really good recipes. I'll be sharing my dinner recipes and what's on my menu for meal prep at the end of the grocery haul. I also picked up another pack of the little cheese bits and meat sticks. This was on sale again for $6.99, which is a really good deal. We loved this last time. We ate all of it up before the expiration date. It's chopped up, ready to go, super convenient. I grabbed a pack of mild chili mix because I am making chili in my meal prep. Lots of canned goods. I needed a can of tomato sauce and a can of diced tomatoes. Two cans of beans. I actually wanted kidney beans, but they didn't have any organic at fry, so I grabbed chili beans because it's going in chili anyway, so I thought that that would be an even better option. And then of course, two cans of pumpkin because we have another pumpkin recipe in meal prep 
And I have a really fun fall video coming your way as well. So I needed lots and lots of canned pumpkin. Two packages of sourdough English muffins. Troy's been making breakfast sandwiches a lot, so I picked up two packages. These are literally the softest English muffins, and they're on sale right now at Kroger. I needed some reduced fat Mexican blend cheese. This is for, I think, two different dinner recipes this next week. Two containers of my favorite cottage cheese. If you have not tried the Good Culture, please try it. It is so good. I mean, hands down, the best I've ever had. I had a coupon for these, so I grabbed not one, but two. A gallon of skim milk for Troy, and then I picked up a pack of Philadelphia one-third less fat cream cheese. I need this for a recipe. And for produce, some sliced mushrooms, three bell peppers, two green, one red, and then a pack of shredded green leaf lettuce. So that is everything from fries. So let's jump into my meal plan for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on the menu for the week. So Saturday out to dinner. Sunday I am making creamy gnocchi soup. I ended up not making it last week so I have everything on hand for that. Monday I'm going to make an Italian hot dish which is kind of like a baked pasta. You guys will see that recipe in Wednesdays what I eat in a day. Tuesdays leftovers, Wednesdays is spaghetti night. Thursday I'm doing Korean barbecue beef tacos so we're gonna do Taco Thursday instead of Taco Tuesday. And then Friday, we'll finish up any leftovers from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm super excited for these three recipes. For breakfast, I'm making a sausage and hash brown bake. I've been doing sweet breakfast, so it is time for a savory one. And then for lunch, I'm actually making chili in my Instant Pot. And then I am making pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies also. Very excited for that. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul. I can't wait to try the fall pumpkin spice things that I picked up. I am always on the hunt for all things pumpkin spice. And of course, if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because again, I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five videos per week. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.